Yeah, but we, obviously I knew you're gonna start with oh submarine. <laughs> of course, it's, it's it's the most big news right now. So, alright, what's your theory? My theory, mm, okay. So I have one where it's like obviously if you're rich, yeah, and you have some like legal thing against you, mm -hmm. maybe like it might be a se sexual assault or they're billionaires, so it's probably like something like embezzlement, like you owe money to someone. And then, you want to disappear. And, like, that's the perfect way to fucking fake your death, fam. Go on a submarine that's built with fucking rocks and sticks. Mm. And it's controlled by a thing. That's so obvious, bro. I, I thought of the other theory where, like, they were they were killed off. Yeah. Because that's what I thought it was going to be. Cause, Why would they be cause killed check this off? Did, yeah. you know, did you know Mr. Beast was supposed to be on the submarine? You hear about that? That was a fake text. What? Yeah. So, if you look in the, the picture when he sent it out, he... He was the one that texted himself. So if you get sent a text, it would be gray. But if you get if you send a text, it would be blue. Go look at the the picture you saw. Mr. Beast, but he said it. I don't think He's, Mr. Beast lies huh? like that. Really? Why would Mr. Beast lie like that? I don't know, but everyone's calling it a bluff because it is a blue text. So why would he send himself that text? You know what I mean? It's a blue No, that's him replying. Yeah, that's him replying. So why would he reply with that message? Like, do you want to come on the uh the submarine? You know, it didn't make Wait, sense. Wait, let me see. Yeah, go, go. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Because I saw it on Six Buzz. Let's see. Mr. Beast submarine. Look, also, I'm going to the Titanic in a submarine late this month. The team would be stoked to have you along. The team would be stoked to Wait, have you. Wait, what are you talking about? Look, look. So it's blue. He, yeah. He, and then look, everyone's saying. Oh, because it's in blue. That's it's sent. Yeah. So isn't it your text if it's blue? Why it is the text in blue? Bro texted mm, himself. He texted himself? So Why would he do that then? For, for, to get more clout off the situation. You feel me? Wow, he's that fucking yeah, like probably. algorithmic. Like he'd fake it like that? Yeah, so what are people talking about now? Mr. Beast. Damn. It makes the most sense. <laughs> That's I'm crazy. You, I swear this whole thing too is like a popularity thing too. Because watch, say, say I'm, a, uh, I'm a billionaire. Yeah. And uh, they say, oh, I, I've gone missing. But... If in the next week they actually like this whole thing blows up and they come back to thing, watch all the the news broadcasters get them on their show. They get to tell these amazing stories of oh look what how I did. how they survived and how stuff. they survived. It's this might be all mm. for uh, attention. You feel no, me? but it's it's confirmed like it's exploded, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the submarine's gone. Confirmed. <laughs> it's confirmed. Yeah, that's what okay. they said. They okay. found it. I think they found it. They find it or not. Cause they they know it like crushed. It got crushed. Yeah, because it got the pressure. Crushed. Yeah, yeah, the pressure. So people are dead regardless. Uh -huh. But the real question is if they were sent there on purpose, mm. or they made the whole ordeal on purpose. Mm. Cause if the Mr. Beast thing is true, the yeah. way I saw it was that they're gonna take people they wanted killed off. Killed off. That's what I thought. Okay. Because it makes sense. Now I don't know if you know this, mm. but the creator. Of the submarine yeah they're actually in cahoots with the wef and we, we don't have to get into that because oh, that's like shit. you know that's yeah. like dangerous talks okay but the owner of the submarine and that whole mission uh-huh is wef Word. weird okay <clears throat> and they're dealing with billionaires and shit too yeah yeah obviously so they would be in cahoots mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna flip it then maybe that's what they want you to think like going down there is to get killed but what if you know how we we talk about nuclear wars, yeah, shit like that. Where if a nuclear war happens, mm -hmm. where would you want to go to be safe? What if actually all those these billionaires they choose? You think they, they disappear in the base, like they the, disappear the under, underwater, underwater, and there's actually a base there. Obviously, it's just theory. Yeah, but wouldn't that make the most sense if there's a nuclear war? You wouldn't want to be on land. Oh, yeah, it makes you I guess so. It's like a you mean like an under underwater bunker? Yeah, like wh wh why would they pull Mr. Beast? He's a billionaire. Come with us. Yeah, you know. No, but I don't think you want to disappear. You really think the the world's gonna end like that? Uh, you never know. Maybe they're they're predicting. You see the Simpsons. But if, if if it was really like nuclear war, I would mm. assume all like a whole bunch of billionaires would go at the same time. If I see yeah like a spaceship. And bare billionaires are hopping on, then, then it's wraps. No, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, if they're all hopping on a plane, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's obvious. They got us. They got it. It's wraps. A lie. Because if, if it's just like a handful of them, mm. I don't know. But if it's a lot, it makes sense. Yeah. Obviously, this is all theories because, fam, 
this is such a weird event that went on. Yeah. Like, why would they do this? You know, there's so many. I feel like it's a joke too. It's a joke. I feel like it's a joke too because they really had the the controller running their shit. Did you see the controller, <laughs> bro? I, this is how you know our our generation. Whenever mm. anything happens, is the most unserious. Because they make memes. It'll be a meme right yeah. away. I seen some thing was like, oh, we're out here so worried, and they're chilling by the crusty crab. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> the the mats are at Krusty Krab right now, <laughs> but but that's how you know, bro. Fuck. Okay, if you had an opportunity, yeah, to go on something that's extravagant like that, mm -hmm. would you second guess now because of that event? Mm. Like they invited me, invited you to even like space or invited you to something obscure. <laughs> would you now second guess because of that event? I feel like mm. I would, because now everything seems fishy. Yeah, no, it, it depends on who I'm going with. Mm -hmm. If it's like just actually, no, it doesn't really. Yeah, because I was doesn't. gonna say, if I'm with billionaires, then it's kind of fishy, but even if I'm with normal people and they're sending me up to space, because it doesn't, fishy too. it doesn't matter. Yeah, because oh, shit, this is scary to think, uh -huh. but realistically, if somebody super rich wanted to, you know, what I mean, mm. they would put you in a setting that you would have no idea. Like, it would just feel like regular life to you. Yeah. Like, you'd go on a vacation. You know what exactly. I mean? You're on a boat one day. Mm. And then, boom. Yeah. No, but but underwater is the best, like, way to take someone out. Because, fam, if they took, like, what is it? 71 years mm -hmm. to, to find the Titanic? Yeah. I, they're not finding that. I watched this video a long, long time ago. Yeah, it's yeah. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And the number one way to fake your death is on, on water. Really? So, you either take a ship out into the middle of the ocean mm -hmm. or you do something re regarding water yeah. and you disappear because for them to find your body, it's going to be so, so, because if you think about it, we don't really realize yeah. the depths of water mm. are as tall as like the Mount Everest. Yeah, fam. It goes deep and it goes wide. Like we can only see the surface level. The moment you look in and you imagine you had, you're a fish yeah. and you can see everything throughout. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's bigger than the land because water takes up more than earth and land. Yeah, yeah. And the, obviously, since we don't know what's down there, like all the creatures and shit, mm -hmm. what if the whole time, like the oxygen didn't go out, like uh, like a shark or a big, big object underwater actually just fucked up the submarine? We don't yeah. know that, you know? You know what we need, bro? What? We need like, <laughs> we need, we need to, no, nah, no, we need to put like tech onto like a fish uh -huh. that can, that can swim. Oh, that's what um, that's what um. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not that. Never mind. Cause that that's kind of like what the the Simpsons had. In what the Simpsons so, have? Remember this? So everyone's saying it. They predicted it again. Yeah. So they made like two submarines mm -hmm. that you can actually go and and try to see all the wildlife underwater, and then and then uh, in one scene, all you see Homer's like stuck in mm -hmm. like this coral reef, right? Yeah. And then on the side, it says oxygen low. Oxygen lower, mm. no oxygen. So you're saying they predicted the Obviously, submarine? Yeah, they predicted the submarine. Mm. And do you know the the cricket? Oh no, no, was it the cricket? Yeah, it was crickets in Nevada. Yeah. So crickets have been coming out of random houses yeah. and filling the streets. So there's a bunch of crickets, right? Mm -hmm. In one of the Simpsons episodes, they have the same one except caterpillars. So mm. so the caterpillars stopped everything. Everyone had to stop staying in their houses. And now it happened in Nevada. But that always happens though. Oh, yeah, that no. always happens in Oklahoma and like But of this degree though, like flooding the streets. Imagine Yo, the crickets. Nah fam. They, there's such thing as like swarms that always happen like that. Word? I yeah. never heard of crickets though. Crickets is the most popular. They, they had it in the Bible, fam. Oh, in Moses. Word. word, I didn't know that. Like um, you know the we call it the locusts. Yo, oh, that's oh, what locusts. it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The locusts in Egypt. So mm -hmm. that actually happens a lot. I'm pretty sure in like the south in the states, mm -hmm. but it happens. See, the problem with uh with Simpsons, yeah, it's like they they've been on so long <laughs> that they just do everything. Something's gonna be predicted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> low key, low key. Something's gonna be predicted because uh -huh. that's just like a regular event, mm -hmm. and it kind of lines up today uh -huh. just because it happened today. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like it's kind of the same. Facts. You have a man walking. The exact same movements, and then later in the future, it was walking the exact same movements. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, <laughs> you're right. I was watching, um, I was watching Black Mirror last night. Okay. And uh, I I really started thinking a lot about technology, right? Because mm -hmm. there's this guy, and he pretty much made like a machine to feel pain of patients when they walk into a hospital, so okay. they can diagnose them better. What? So if you think about it, right? Yeah. When you go into the hospital and you have to explain your symptoms, you don't really understand your symptoms as 
good as a doctor could tell you. Okay. Because you're just feeling. Uh huh. Now imagine if the doctor could feel exactly what you're feeling. And then just from how he feels you, he can be like, oh, it's right here? Okay, I know exactly what it is. Appendicitis. Okay, yeah. Obviously, the diagnosis would be more specific. Yeah, no, he, so he was able, because he's a doctor, he studied everything. Mm-hmm. So he's able to implant this thing into his, into his, like, uh, his nervous system, yeah. like right into his neck. And every single person that came in, he would put like this machine on their head mm-hmm. and it would, it would send the signals of all the pain in their body, everything they're feeling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what happened was one time, mm. there was a woman that came in and she was under cardiac arrest. Oh, fuck. So he put like the, the, the brainwave thing on her head uh, and as she was dying and died, yeah, he blacked out. Yeah, obviously. So he blacked out, but because the brainwaves mm. and the link in his nervous system was still attached to her, he was able to feel exactly what the afterlife was what yeah for the entire time that he was blacked out he was able to feel the afterlife so the black the afterlife is just going to sleep no he was he was feeling like euphoria and these okay. different feelings right yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyways the moment he woke up mm. it changed everything because what? the next time he came into work yeah he started to have a different sensation to pain so before he would put on the pain and then he would be in agony, like trying to figure out what's the symptom. Mm-hmm. But after his death or after that feeling of death, yeah. pain became pleasurable. Wow. Pain became pleasurable for him because I think just the way it messed up his brain in the sense of he can almost die, but he doesn't. So, so he can feel the pain of almost dying, but doesn't die. So it's like almost a adrenaline rushing through him him. because he's still alive his body's fine obviously it's just the senses that's going through him right so he's like oh that's a heart attack yes yeah yeah exactly (laughs) so he would go into the hospital and Uh then look for patients that are in pain fucking like poisoned heart attack whatever so severed leg and put the machine on their head just to go yeah like take it and and feel and feel pain and he would get off from feeling pain now it, it gets darker bro Ew. So he ends up getting fired from the hospital yeah. because he's doing this weird ass shit. Like, yo, you can't be out here getting off on people's pain, right? <laughs> it's like heart attack. Yeah. So one time he was watching TV and he had like a, a glass of whiskey mm. beside him. Yeah. It dropped and it cut him. And he said, oh shit, that feels good. Because oh, now he doesn't have to get pain from other people. Yeah. He can get pain from himself. So he started mutilating his whole body to feel pain he would but because he's a doctor he's yeah. able to like do just enough that he doesn't die and it's not lethal to him but he'd mm. still feel the exact amount of like most excruciating pain you can ever feel yeah. so he would drill like drill bits into his body mm. he would pull out his teeth all of that stuff yeah but it wasn't enough so he became a, a murderer huh yeah i knew it so it wasn't enough because the one thing that he's missing huh. was a sense of fear because all of the other patients, when he would put the sensor on them, mm. before they would pass away or before like <clears throat> they would feel that pain, there's a sense of fear in them. Yeah. And then in his sense, it's almost like drinking wine with steak. It's like you need this to have that, you know? Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. two together to make it one. Mm-hmm. So what he did, he ended up going out and looking for like a homeless person. Mm. The first person he saw, he knocked them out put the sensor on his head and then started drilling into his body just to feel his pain. Oh my God. And in that exact moment, yeah. the police came and they stopped him, but something happened when he killed the homeless guy with the drill. Yeah. His body went into a coma because just like the other deaths that happened, mm-hmm. he blacked out again, but he became into a coma and the last thing yeah. that was on his face was just a smile of like bliss. And he's just stuck like this. And he died like died that? like this. And That's he's just like that forever. That's so fucked, man. And it's all because of like tech. Yeah, yeah. Because in a sense, that tech, it was supposed to help people. And it did help people. Mm. But obviously it's going to, if you have something that's so good, people are going to turn into bad intentions. Like you'll, t- you'll get one crazy guy that like 
oh, mm-hmm. this is actually cool. And then boom, he'll do all that shit. After. Someone's going to find a way to use it in another sense. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. That's always going to happen though. Because mm-hmm. people are just so creative. They're going to find out different alleyways of different way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Weird tendencies I to do you. with it. Yeah. But but one time, like though, because I, I know you knew you use the the what do you call this the randonautica. Yeah, that's actually like help solve murder cases. You know that? Really? Yeah, I yeah. thought it wasn't true though. <laughs> no, I thought it no. wasn't true because a lot of people like when they're using randonautica, there, there's like theories that it's actually controlled by like the dark web. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. It'll lead yeah. you to weird places, right? Mm-hmm. So I think um, there was one case in uh, Seattle, right? And there was these kids that they were like, oh. I'm, I'm a geocache. I'm going to do this and something cool, right? Yeah. Let's find something cool. For everyone that doesn't know geocaching, you get a random location. You go to that location and I guess you you find an object. It's like a it's like a souvenir box. Yeah. And then it, it's called a cache. Exactly. And pretty much you like sign your name or they leave some objects in it. Yeah. And Carlos does it hella time. Yeah, so, I do all the time. So, it's fun as fuck, yeah. bro. That's just fun. So there's a case in Seattle where a bunch of these kids wanted to do it, right? Mm-hmm. So they put in the, the, they generated the coordinates and this coordinate sent them, um, I think it was to a random like beach like a like a you know um in LA where it's like uh that that homeless beach yeah uh what would you call that the one that Andre took us to Venice Beach yeah Venice Beach it was like a Venice Beach type vibe in Seattle mm-hmm. and then the coordinate uh when they were in the video they saw like on the rocks there was um a suitcase mm-hmm. and that suitcase was like that was the coordinate that they were looking for it sent them exactly to that suitcase right yeah so the kids go up and like, okay, I think this is our item, right? Mm-hmm. So they open it carefully and then they, they see like plastic. And mm-hmm. they're like, what the fuck? So they take a couple sticks and they poke at it to see if there's like anything alive in there. Yeah. There's nothing alive. So they, they open the plastic a bit more and they get a whiff. Oh, it's like death. A, yeah. Like a, so it's like death. Yeah. Like one of those, like, what the fuck is that? Like, what is in this? And then all of a sudden they see two mutilated bodies oh. in that thing, right? So obviously they're like, okay, yo, Got to call the cops. The, yeah. co- the I think the cops investigated it, and they found uh, a wife and uh, a husband, mm. and they traced it back because I think that night that wife and husband was staying at like a, a motel, right? Yeah. And they traced it back to the motel, and they they the cops expect uh, inspected it to be the land the landlord mm. because the landlord is very like to himself he doesn't have like um he doesn't talk to a lot of people but he's very like psychotic you know what i mean Mm. and then some guy some girl came out too like she wanted to remain anonymous she said that every time she's been in that motel with that landlord she was searching around the apartment there was like scratches on the wall from what though from people from like people escaping yeah yeah, yeah, exactly and one time in a pile of clothes there was a pile of clothes in the corner yeah she saw a hand a human hand in the pile of clothes (laughs) so they're saying that whenever you don't pay uh your rent or anything on time he goes out his way to kill you and mutilate your body and throw it in the ocean the landlord the landlord (laughs) yeah it's fucked man the landlord is the serial killer Mm, yeah and they found it out but they would have never found it if they didn't go geocaching Mm. fuck it so what or none is it joke randonautica Randonautica. it's the same thing yeah 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 yeah. it's not the same why randonautica is a different app Okay, but it's kind of like the same, um, what do you call this? Cause Objective? I, did you do, have you tried the app? Yeah, I have. Because on Randall Nautica, <clears throat> it's literally just um, two options. It's like, do you want alpha or omega? Something like that. It's like two different options. Uh-huh. And it just says you're supposed to manifest. That's it. That's oh. literally it. You don't put no coordinate. You don't put like what you're trying to see. Mm-hmm. None of that. You just manifest and you go and find it. Okay, then I did Randall Nautica. I didn't do geocaching then. Geo- geocaching has an actual coordinate yeah because whenever i went randonautica yeah and we're like we were, i think we did it together one time and we tried to manifest but it only sent us to like a bridge under the highway but that did was we it. do it oh yeah, yeah we did we're with Sharon. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and you're like guys that. we have to we have to manifest what we want to see like this guy said yo murders. yo but it doesn't really take you nowhere <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't it. really take that yeah. that's why i think like i don't know if i don't know if it's really really true uh-huh. but one time it did take me and Sharon and sophia uh-huh. into like a random that's why it's called random not because yeah, these are fucking it's random but it, random. it took us to a farm and then we walked i want to say like 20 minutes on farmland Word. to the this end of a ravine yeah it's like hella forest right mm. so we get closer and closer we see a a woman's shoe yeah a woman's shoe just a single shoe a heel mm. in the middle of the field fam what the fuck the middle of farms yeah 
And then there's like a garbage bag and stuff, but like we are not trying to like look into mm. it. But we walk even closer and the, the blip is yeah. taking us into the forest. <laughs> but keep in mind, this shit is 11 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So it's dark. And yeah, what we weren't trying it? to go in, bro. So what we just pushed out and like left. Yeah, yeah. What if that was the start of like a, a case? You could have, you could have. We could something. have been the case. Nah, it's not the start of it. We could have so, been. So the case. it was in a forest. It was in a forest. Because who knows? What if it's like? Imagine. Yeah. I heard before, long, long time ago, when Pokemon Go was popping off, mm-hmm. pedophiles and just fucked up people, mm-hmm. they would put Pokemon Go stops yeah. or try to validate Pokemon Go stops nearby areas to try and kidnap kids yeah of a forest though like like where it's uh not close to any houses like that's where you want to go mm-hmm. you know? not you yeah just just even just like kind of weird locations like mm-hmm. an alley or yeah. kind of something discreet yeah yeah and even the ones that are already made by nintendo mm-hmm. they would just post up by there yeah I'm so if you, you ever play pokemon go especially back in the day mm-hmm thinking back there were some weirdos just watching yeah and that was because of that reason because they're smart and it's also tech tech based like it's gonna mm-hmm. lead you it's gonna show your player on the map fam yeah. you don't think you don't think uh they have enough tech to see oh you're walking towards here right now obviously you know what i don't get mm-hmm. when snapchat and instagram asks uh if there's a pop-up and it says will you allow this app to track your phone and there's an option for that that that's like, why for- would you want that yeah, that's for um, that's for like data. Like they're just trying to get your information. Yeah, but why would you? That's so weird. Like, that's every app though. Like yeah. if you want to be on a certain application, they have all the right to use your information. Mm-hmm. Real talk. I guess. I guess. Because you know that that long ass. Let's say you sign up for Club Penguin and mm-hmm. you see the the terms of agreement. Yeah, no one's reading that. You always scroll all the way to the bottom and just click that shit. Finish. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Right. That makes sense. So every like, single time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, but. I also found another story. This is mm-hmm. in Canada. Yeah. So, and this happened two weeks ago. And you're saying about not going to the forest because you might have been the next case. This might have been you, I go lie. Wow. So, so uh, this happened in Canada. And there was this girl, right, mm-hmm. who, uh, who always rides horses. She has hella horses and she just stays with her grandma, right? Mm-hmm. And then, so one time, every time she rides her horse, she goes down a specific trail. Every time, yeah. right? So this time when she was going down this trail uh, at night, she goes down and she sees like um a deer, a dead deer yeah, yeah, on yeah. the trail, right? And she's like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, put it anywhere. I'm just going to leave it to see if there's any other like animals around the forest that are going to eat it, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what she does, um, she grabs her camera and sets it up, mm. right? And she's so she can see if there's any like bears around the area and stuff like that, yeah, right? Yeah. So she rides back, she rides back. The next day... Her grandpa, her uh, that she was living with, mm-hmm. gets a hold of the the camera that uh what do you call it, that she set up, and she sees two naked women eating the dead deer. What the fuck? Why yeah. why naked women? I don't know, but they're supposedly witches, and they were doing a ritual like fuck? this. This was the whole ritual of eating, and there's pictures of it and like CCTV. Wait, was, so this is like in the middle of nowhere though, right? Yeah, I think so, it, but it's in Canada somewhere. I forgot where it was. Yeah. But they're saying that this uh this animal eating ritual is like something that they do to like gain like powers and shit like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two women just two like women, random black hair like it looks like Insi- uh, insidious or whatever that that movie was with the girl. Yeah. Covering their face just eating eating the deer. Damn. Yeah, what they the found fuck? out on camera too. So how do you know they're witches though? They were like is it like a known they have witches in that area? I think so. It might be. <laughs> yeah, I know. But but I think uh uh one ritual that they that witches do is they eat animals. Like mm. that's that's what they're trying to connect it to. Mm. But obviously why would two women eat animals, you feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. What would be the case? What do you think? Maybe they're starving, bro. Maybe they're actually like No, I don't think so. No, they're like native to the <laughs> the lands. No? Maybe, I don't know. Cause real time, if you think about it, mm-hmm. if there's <clears throat> undisclosed like areas, untouched areas of the world. Yeah. How would you live? No technology, no nothing. You'd probably live like that. It'll be like naked and afraid. <laughs> yeah, fam. Real talk. Cause you ever heard of that um shit? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. There's this, there's this thing. There's this, there's this like tribe. I forgot where it is. I might be in Australia. Mm-hmm. It's a native tribe. Oh, you know what it is? It's a it's an indigenous tribe. They called the cargo cargo cult. Okay. I believe that's what it's called. In Canada or no? 
Nah, somewhere else, somewhere okay. else in the world. But pretty much what happened during the war, mm. I want to say the World War One or World War Two, they came in contact with the soldiers. Yeah. So this tribe knew nothing. They just eat animals, and I mean, they just farm. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff, and one day the soldiers came mm. to set up their base, whatever. Now you can imagine if you don't have the same language, no concept of what these things are like tanks helicopters mm. planes all of these things like yo what the fuck is this is it aliens right yeah, yeah. so what they did after the soldiers left the cargo cult mm. they started to create and recreate the things that soldiers left behind so they would make like a whole plane yeah made out of hay okay okay but just because they saw it just because they saw it mm, they gotcha. would make like tanks made out of like <clears throat> dirt and yeah, sticks yeah. just because they wanted to try and like see if they would come in return mm. just to like attract them come back okay that's kind of sick though because if you think about it like if we saw something obscure like that that we don't understand we would think there's higher importance yeah but isn't that sad like they they think it's something so surreal but mm -hmm. in reality they just don't know the rest of the world yeah i think i seen something too is like you know that that whole story where like mm -hmm. back in the medieval days uh, they created like a, a Trojan, a big Trojan horse, yeah. and like they knocked on the door, and then there was that's, soldiers. That's in, in the, Greece. That's yeah, uh, yeah. the tr that's from during the Trojan War. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that never happened. Like that wasn't. I heard it was a myth. Yeah, yeah it, it was a myth. Like when I heard, it's that, like was, folklore. It's yeah, like folklore. Because yeah. when I heard that, I'm like. Yeah, when do you really think about it? There's a big horse at your door. You're not opening the door, fam. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it was just like uh, part of the stories, yeah, like yeah. part of the mythology. Because uh -huh. like Achilles and shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's the story of Achilles. When he broke his Achilles? <laughs> no, yeah, Achilles, yeah. He, he's like the only weakness is his is Achilles. Achilles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, he's, the, he's the main like leader of the, the army, I think. Okay. And he was like unbeatable. And then you can only like defeat him with his Achilles. Okay. Because that's the one thing that didn't touch like the blessed water he was, he was dumped in. Mm. So his mother like grabbed his ankle and like yeah. dumped him in the water. Yeah. And then he became invincible except for the part she was holding. Yeah, that's fucked. Which is Achilles. That's Achilles is fucked, man. This guy missed one spot. Yeah, fam. But yeah, okay. Go, going back to the submarine though. Another thing I heard though, since we're talking about wars too, is that they actually sent these billionaires mm. and this is going to be a Russian attack. What do you mean? So imagine, imagine they sent a bunch of billionaires down, yeah, and like the whole reason was to to go and attack Russia. Wait, what? 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 Or so I heard something. <laughs> it was like this was supposed to be a Russian attack or something. Do you believe that or so no? So trying to fake a Russian attack? Yeah, trying to fake one. So they're trying to blame Russia on on like the billionaires missing. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that? Do you think that's a good theory? I don't think Th that, so. That's out there though. That's out there. I don't know if if they would do that. Why don't they just? Just drop a nuke. Yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> like, I'm like God forbid, but like that shit would start the war better yeah, than that. I know, feel but me? It's, it's yeah. They, like if man's they, really wanted to start a war, they could start the war. Like yeah. you don't have to do no, no play they, shit, <laughs> no baby shit. Like just just throw it up. But I don't think they wanted to do that. That's why they wanted to do something more mellow, you know. Mm. But yeah, because I know in in Russia, I believe they blame like a drone attack. Yeah, that, that's on what the they're US. trying to do. Yeah, yeah. But that shit was baby shit too. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> they really just had like a mini drone like come and crash into the building and blame yo the u.s tried to kill us yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who knows that's who knows like when you're actually, who knows the truth that's like when you're actually in a fight it's like you're pushing and shoving like the drone is just the pushing it's and the shoving. baby shit fam like nah it, but no one wants to throw the right hook <laughs> it's like talking talking like if y'all want to fight fight yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but chill chill not going not going hopefully yeah, nothing not happens going. but um <clears throat> i have a question for you yeah yeah I have a really good question, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's say you had a loved one mm -hmm. and they were in a coma. Yeah. Would you be willing, if they had the technology, to put their consciousness into your head so they can live again? Wait, wait, say it again. If I was dead? No, 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 you're not dead. Oh, I'm not dead. You're not dead. One of your loved ones is in a coma, pretty much dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not going to live anymore. Mm-hmm. But they're still there, conscious. So you want to transport their spirit like they had, into mine. Yeah, they have the technology to put their consciousness into your head and they can feel and see everything with you. Would you want that? Uh, on paper, it sounds like a sick idea. But I feel like there's a lot of back, like um, a lot of bad things that could come with it. Because mm -hmm. like, obviously it's a spirit. Like it's, 
that's coming in another spirit that's it's, coming. It's in not your body. necessarily your spirit. It's literally just like their brain, their consciousness. Yeah. So so you know, get out. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of <laughs> like that, like the hypnotism. They're in their. You're in that head, mm. and you can't really do much. You can't really move at all, communicate at all. But they're just there with you. Nah, you wouldn't I want that. Do that. Would you want to do that? So that's nah, crazy. nah, nah, nah. But there was this. Uh, this is in Black Mirror too. Okay. But pretty much this guy, mm -hmm. his wife got hit by a car, yeah. and she ended up in a coma. Mm -hmm. Now this doctor came to him and he said, "Okay, we have this technology mm -hmm. that we can transport her consciousness into your head, and she'll be able to feel your baby boy, <laughs> anything you see. So she'll be able to have the same emotions as you, mm -hmm. and just feel everything you're feeling." Yeah. Now. He agreed to it because he loved his wife so much. Yeah. But we didn't realize was how it would really affect his life. Wow. So he did it. He did their procedure. And there was good times. Like they were actually able to have amazing moments. Like she's able to see the kid mm -hmm. and experience life still. Yeah. But what happened, she can still communicate to the guy. So imagine thoughts in your head that aren't yours. Yeah. So everything you do, like you pick up your phone, like, why'd you pick that up? Yeah. Fuck. So it ended up becoming like a backseat driver of your life Yeah. in every scenario. Mm -hmm. And it got, it gets like fucked up. Cause let's say you wanted to remarry or you start dating again. Yeah. That voice in the back of your head is always there. Yeah. Now what's crazy he went back to the doctor and he's like, okay, we got to do something about this. Mm -hmm. What they did, they were able to install almost like an app on his phone yeah. that would pause her consciousness. Oh, that's sick. Then yeah. I would have it. Then what, I would have it. So he could pause it. <laughs> but in her time, she would just be like, oh, wait, it's Halloween? Like, what, what happened to all the other months? Like, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but okay. it's like years it. in advance. And like, mm -hmm. she didn't, she didn't realize. Yeah. Now, if you think about this, that's pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's kind of unethical because it's still someone's life, right? I know, yeah. They can't do anything, but they can experience. Mm -hmm. So what they ended up doing as a solution, yeah. they ended up transferring her consciousness into almost like a robot, but it's in the shape of like a toy monkey mm -hmm. for the kid. Yeah. So the toy monkey is able to communicate only by two sayings. Yeah. Monkey needs a hug or monkey loves you. Just two sayings because yeah. it's kid friendly, right? Uh -huh. Now the dad transferred the mom's consciousness to into the, the to the monkey, gave it to the kid, and every time the kid wanted to like talk to the mom, he would talk to the, to the monkey. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, that's kind of like um, that's selling your soul though, right? What do you mean, like selling your soul? Because um, if you're putting. Fam, you're talking about like consciousness and stuff, but that's your soul though. Okay, like, you know, it gets even more fucked up because yeah. now she doesn't have a lifespan. Like she can necessarily, she can so live that forever. Is a soul. That is a soul because so, souls don't have, they, they're, they're eternal. You know it's, what I mean? It's hard to say. It's hard no, really because, to say. Because soul, if you're thinking about just your brain, mm -hmm. you know, brain and thing is con all connected, right? Yeah. So if you pass that to someone else, like someone in a coma, mm -hmm. you're taking all their consciousness, their soul out, their body, and so yeah, they can I guess live it, again. It is. So it's like almost like a possessed monkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. No, that is a selling your soul ritual, fam. Mm. That's kind of scary. So I think like in the end of the, the episode, like yeah. she's still in that monkey. Oh my God. Over all those years. She, shit, the, the husband probably passed away or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll still grow old in the monkey. Like, Monkey loves you. Yeah. Monkey needs a hug. That's all. No. And dude. you're just, imagine you're just like this, like trapped. You can't do anything. Yeah. Fuck, bro. That's Crazy. Wait, Black Mirror isn't based on real events, right? No, but it's it's based on technology they're trying to create. They're trying to create. Okay, okay. Which is shit, everything, right? Because mm -hmm. the more technology comes out, the yeah. more we're going to try and advance it. And there is some dark and unethical tech, mm -hmm. but it's still there. Okay, yeah. It's probably still there, and yeah. you never know when it's going to be in use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that, that monkey thing reminded me of um, some game they play in Southeast Asia, too. Mm -hmm. It's called the Shadow Game. You ever heard about this? I don't, I never heard the about shadow it. Shadow Game? Nah. So it's kind of like um, putting, so you, they say your shadow is kind of like your consciousness, and if you have a shadow, you have a soul, right? Mm -hmm. So there was these um, three guys that they were playing it, and to do it, like, in, they, they recorded themselves uh, doing it, at first, they were just doing, they were in like a, they were beside a wall and they were just making hand puppets, stuff like that with their shadows, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they take um, a talisman out, right? Which mm -hmm. is like an envelope. And then inside the talisman, 
they have figures of themselves, like small figures, oh, right? So For to, what? To, so listen, so to play this game, you have to take three pieces of your hair mm-hmm. and put it in the envelope with the, the figure of yourself, right? Mm-hmm. And you have to start burning this envelope, right? Yeah. And while, while the, it was recorded of them playing, two of the guys yeah. were just still playing, making shadows, right? While the third guy on the far right in the video, he started burning his talisman, his shadow went away. It mm. started fading away, right? Mm-hmm. And in this game, your shadow is going to be around the area. You just have to find it again. But if you don't find it again, your soul is like gone. Yeah. Right? So the guy, they started panicking. Yo, we have to go find it. We have to go find it. He, he saw a, a, sh- a random shadow out in the in the wilderness. He, he crouched down and then it slowly went back into this position. Mm. And that's how you play the shadow game. It's like, it's kind of fun. It's like, oh, this it's, is how. It's like seeing the other you. Yeah, yeah. Type shit. And then there's, an, there's an, also another one that also in uh, Japan. Yeah. So you have to connect your, your fingers like this. Yo, so put your finger towards mine. Yeah. And then you have to also burn a, a candle light. Mm-hmm. And then when you release, mm-hmm. your uh, one person's shadow will follow later. So it'll be like this, but your shadow will go like two seconds later. It'll be what like delayed. Yeah. It's like. So, a, so it's like. um. It's like Peter Pan. You know how like Peter Pan's shadow yeah. can like move on its own. Yeah, exactly. So the shadow has its own presence. Has its own presence. So Fuck. when they're all in a circle, we'll see which one really goes uh, last. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that video of the? Um, there's this guy on a bus, mm-hmm. and then he sees like a woman. Is this like, a hooded woman? Oh, yeah. have you seen this? I think so. I think so. so. There's this hooded woman, and she's just like on the bus, and uh. she's she's asking for help. Or something, but she won't leave the bus. Yeah, like she, she just won't leave the bus, mm-hmm. and he's trying to like look at her face, mm-hmm. and the closer he gets to her, he can see under the hood, there's no face. Oh fuck! No face. There's a video of it. What? And and if you pay like close attention, uh-huh. this woman doesn't have a shadow. Oh no! Nah. And that's one of the dead giveaways. Like yeah, that this is a spirit. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a soul, fam. Look. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> While he was talking to this lady, the so you can see, you can see the the hood. She's just wearing like a scarf there. Yeah. In Delhi, India, showing a woman. Oh hell! See, no. look, look, look. You can't, can't see the face, even though she's looking like right at the camera. Look, yeah, 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 can't see nothing. That's so weird. Why would nah? Wait, so the she bus driver thinks? Yeah, she has hands. She has hands. <laughs> yes, yes. No, but the the bus driver, the bus driver saying like, like show show me yourself because she wants to look at him. Look, she has no face. The br- the bus driver's like, get off the bus, get off the bus, because he's scared. He's like, what the fuck are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So he looks closer. When they arrived, the woman had mysteriously vanished without a trace. The woman has no shadow either. Oh no! Look, behind her, no shadow. So it's just a spirit. Yeah. Now what what the bus driver did? Mm-hmm. He just panicked because he called the police. So he exited the bus, mm-hmm. waited for the police, and when they came back onto the bus, she's not there no she's more. She's gone. Fuck. Gone. No, but I think um in uh in the Philippines, if you see if you see someone with no face, that's an indicator that you might die soon. With no face. Yeah, with no face. Why? I don't know. It's that's like, like a superstition. Yeah, like a superstition down there is like, oh, and anywhere you you look, if there's no face, you're about to die soon. Word. So that's like mean? um. Spirited away because no yeah. face. Yeah, exactly. And why do you think the bus driver is panicking? Good thing he's, he stopped driving because he would have probably got into accident. Like he knew. He was like, if you see in the video, he's like, she has no face. He's yeah. the one telling her, uh, the, the person uh, recording. That it's like a bad omen. It's yeah, like a spirit. Yeah. Exactly. Because mm. what happens What happens if you see something mm-hmm. and you just keep going with it? Like would you... That's a, that's a thing. Like if if you believe into it more, do you fall victim to it because of you believed it? A hundred percent. Because you kind of manifested it. Yeah, fam. <laughs> you you've probably been in uh, in your room after a, a psychological horror. Yeah. And you're thinking to yourself that it's real, but it's actually not. It's just a movie. Nah, yo. Sometimes I I I watch like um, I watch like fucked up movies, and then yeah. I start to think in the main character oh, how nah. they think. Oh no, nah. yeah. You're- just for a bit, like after, I'm like, oh, damn, this. This is a weird feeling and shit. Like, cause every time I watch, yeah. I try to put myself into the character. No, you can't do that, bro. That's how, that's, how, that's how you get a good experience. <laughs> but then a crazy man like you might actually do what they actually, you know, they might I'm not talk, do no crazy like, shit. Like you remember the little girl that loved true crimes? Bah, bah, bah. She's turned into the nah, true crime herself. Man. No, but it's, it's a different take nah. when you put yourself into the character and you feel 
the emotion. Because imagine you you read a story, right? Yeah. The greatest stories you heard or you felt emotion to were the ones you read in a book. Am I am I false? Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. Because it's almost like your own take on what's happening because mm-hmm. w- words in a book are just words you yes. interpret it you imagine it you feel it mm-hmm. now imagine you do that in a movie and it's given to you a little bit more and you just pretend like you're seeing through how they would see it mm. that would bring the movie up like a <laughs> couple notches so <laughs> for sure but i don't i do i i put myself in a in my perspective and like this is a movie just so i don't get psyched out you know because mm. if i get too deep in oh man I, I think i have the personality to be like this shit's actually real like this Word. camera's following me you know what i mean no but that's that's what you gotta do for acting if you wanna yeah, if yeah. you wanna I act can, like i can never act i, I already you, you gotta it. you gotta really like be be that it's yeah. fucked it's no no fucked. you can't you can't and it's scary because mm-hmm. imagine you play um yo there was a uh, the guy from it yeah yeah the guy that played it he had to go to Therapy? to the mental hospital. Oh, fuck. even you know David Cho? No. Oh, David Cho? David Cho, the artist. Yeah. So yeah. after after filming the Netflix series Beef, he went and checked himself into a mental hospital yeah. because the character he was playing was so violent, yeah. just so like not his character, and he lost his mind. So he thought that he became that person, and what happened was whenever he would go out, even when they're not filming. Mm-hmm. I, th- I forgot the term, but I think it's called like leaking. Yeah. He would leak the persona of oh, the character he's playing ordering Starbucks. Like, yo, bitch, give me a coffee. Like oh, shit like that. Fuck. Like he would leak his character, even though that's not him. Damn. Because that's how that's how much he like moved his mindset in that way. Yeah. Fuck, bro. That's next level acting. But I think not even acting too. Like you can just do that to be somebody. I was gonna say that because what if you if uh, you're a little kid and you looked up to maybe Spider Man mm-hmm. and you every day you're like, you know what I mean? <laughs> would yeah. you turn into the mindset? Would the mindset? Yeah, the yeah. mindset would. No, regardless, because yeah. I think if you really take it in, I have a theory mm-hmm. that the reason our generation is like this is dead ass just based off the heroes we grew up with. Yeah. If you think about it, our parents, at least whoever they were watching at the time. Mm-hmm. I look at my dad and I look at my uncles. And I'm like, yo, how do they turn out like this? Why are they so like masculine? Why are they why are they so have this type of mindset? Yeah. And I look back at like my dad's movie collection. What do I see? That makes sense. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You uh, know what I mean? I see like um, all the karate movies, and that's that's what was popular at the time. Who like Godfather, Al Pacino, facts. whatever you indulge in, you become. Yeah. And then that's what your mindset changes into. So you can honestly like become whoever you want just by your mindset no that makes and sense keep evolving it and then like take things that you do like take things that you don't like yeah. and me as a movie lover that's what i do with every single movie yeah so i see like what i like about certain characteristics yeah and like damn that maybe that will work in my life mm-hmm. i was just gonna say there's there's so much media nowadays that you look up to someone else and that becomes you so you're a mix of all the media you consume mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and um it, it doesn't even have to be like movies too. Yeah. Like if you play video games, you kind of you kind of think of that way, right? Yeah. So Max Holloway, mm. to become a better striker in the UFC, you know what he did? What? He would actually play the UFC game and try different combos. So oh. he said it in an interview. He would use uh, Jose Aldo and Henan Brow uh-huh. and then just spam like combos, like strike combos. Word. Like, damn, this works in the game. Yeah. And he would just do it. He would actually like <laughs> use those combos in practice and actually like, Drill it, drill it, drill it, and use it in real life. Yeah. I remember I had the, the UFC 3 game on PlayStation 3. Mm-hmm. And then I would, like, I would think that I was so sick and I was doing those, like, uh, Muay Thai kicks. Yeah. But then I went to Taekwondo practice and tried the same thing. It did not work out, bro. It could work out if you drill it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you drill it. But I was spending so much time on the game that I got so lazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just sitting in front of the screen. So when I got time to, got time to play, I was like, oh, I'm in a video game. I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah. But then I'm mad slow. Like, I'm not coordinated. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like video games fuck you up, bro. Mm. You know how I had a I had like a concept of the world before, like yeah. like episodes ago, but how everything there's nothing new. There's nothing new. I take that back. Okay. I take I take back that whole I- ideology. Like there's why, nothing why? new. Why don't why don't you think? So there is new, mm-hmm. but it's just a mixture of the old. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's kind of like mix and mashing to make the new. Mm. So it's still new. Yeah, but it's old concepts put together. Mm-hmm. The old, I think the only new was when those uh, what do you call those? The Neanderthals. 
that everything was new and uh, from that age. No, nah, they're still new. They're still new, fam. What? They're still new, bro. No, no yeah, no. I'm I'm talking about, but like, f- like new, new, like yeah. never been done before. Mm-hmm. But then, like now, we we take that new and turn it into a newer thing. You know what I mean? No, nah, there's still add-on. there's still way more new shit, fam. New shit? Yeah, like we didn't have. Okay, for example, the the Apple stuff. No one had Bitcoin, like Neanderthals. There's new shit. Like that's a you that's never a know. that's a concept. Like we haven't even you yeah. know. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more new things, but the base of it is like their old concepts <clears throat> just revamped and modified. Yeah. But I think like, I think it's still considered new just because, just because it's all of these ideas that you would never mix before. Yeah. So imagine a whole palette of colors, right? Mm-hmm. You take this color with that color. Now you have those combinations of two colors together. Yeah, yeah. Now you add a third one. How many different combinations are there? Three. Now you had a fourth, like now one times this, times this, times this, you know, there's yeah. unlimited almost. Mm-hmm. And you add another one. So it's like, let's say this, this was your only option before. Facts. This is everything that's new. Yeah. The moment you add something else into the mix. It's a new thing. Though every single one becomes new just yeah. because there's so many different combinations. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody told me too, is like, oh, you design clothing, but there's only a bunch of clothing that you can design. So you're going to run out of ideas. I'm like. Wait, no, but I can take someone's idea and t- change it into mine. Isn't that considered new? Mm-hmm. You know? It is, it and is. you can turn different products into new products. So say like, so this one uh, without the diamonds is a is a pretty boy hoodie, right? Yeah. I add the diamonds, it's a new product. Yeah. You know, so it's different variations. Like you said, the thing, mm-hmm. but all the, so this pretty boy hoodie, the original turns into the new thing because it's culminated. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can never run out of ideas, to be honest, because as long as there are ideas, mm-hmm. there's going to be new products. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to dive into anything else besides just hoodies? Hoodies? Yeah. I want to make, uh, my end goal is to make jewelry because I, yeah. I wear so much jewelry. I, lo- I love like shiny shit. So I'm definitely going to come out with that. Mm-hmm. When are you, when do you think you're going to drop it? Uh, I don't know. Cause I'm not, when I have a team, cause I'm not a guy that I have sick ideas, but I can never put it into motion. But why? It, it's, I don't know. It's hard for me. I don't know why, but it's like, oh, I'll go on to Alibaba, but I'm like, ah, I'll give up. Bro. It's too hard. To Sir, are, are you out like looking for a team? Yeah. I'm out looking for like. I, I I need like so my my if I had one person that I can draft to my team, yeah. it would be Jet. Because Jet is a guy that can take your idea and and make it come into life in like less than twenty four hours. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he's a guy that can go out and do it. Like I have the crazy ideas, but I can't do go out and make it. You know, but I mean? you don't have the you don't have the aspiration to do that though to because, to, because all to the, be that person. Yeah, because all the the research is very draining. I'm like, oh, man, I'm not. Even, I'm just gonna push this aside until I can find until something comes to me. Because my hoodie uh, guy came to me. I didn't have to look for that hoodie guy. Mm-hmm. You know, that makes all my hoodies. Yeah. So it's like until it comes to me, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Until it comes to you, you're not gonna. So, so if I have it. a if I have a team, oh yeah, it's wraps. Mm-hmm. I, might, I might have the the craziest streetwear brand in Canada. Where yeah. that's sick. I know. So if you see somebody that that's like Gavin, I wanna I wanna work for you, mm-hmm. like theoretically. Yeah. What are you? What are type of aspects in their mm. life or their creativity that you're looking for? Oh, uh, he's very, uh, what do you call this? I don't know. I don't know how you can explain. It. Like very um. Like he comes up to me and like his first, his first words is like, you can feel the passion. Like he has mm. to be passionate. Passionate. Okay. Well, number one. And then I guess just very hardworking. That's mm-hmm. if you have those and you love what you do, you're on my team. Word. Yeah. How about you? For me, it's very simple. Okay. Whatever I'm bad at and they're good at. Whatever I'm bad. Yeah. That very simple. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Like you could be a shitty person. Mm-hmm. If you're really, really good at something and I'm bad at it. Yeah. We can still work together. See, a lot of those guys who, when they're creating a team and uh, they take age or like your age into account, but say like um, a guy, a guy that's still in like um, ninth grade comes up to you and he's really good at what he does. Mm-hmm. A lot of people would turn that away just because his experience. Would you still take him if, if he's like he's uh, knowledgeable, he has all these things, but obviously he's still young. Yeah, why not? Exactly. A yeah. lot of people don't like like uh, the the youth is very important, like. It's what keeps you young. They know the trends and they still know what's going on mm-hmm. to this day. You're getting old as we speak, but they're still the future. So wouldn't you want a lot of young kids on your team 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, a lot of a lot of old heads say like, nah, he doesn't have the experience. Fam, how do you think he's gonna get the experience? I feel like it's the opposite in the industry though. I feel like really? I feel like everybody's looking for the young. The young? Like nobody really wants to use the old. Really? Yeah, because if you think about it, look at look at like all the rappers where they collabing with. They're not collabing with older artists, they're collabing Word. with younger artists. Word. I've I feel like in all art, like they're just looking at the the youth because that's that's the newer. That's what's gonna be popular. Really? Because a lot of people say like, oh, you hang around a lot of O2s and you're an OO. I'm like, what? Why does that make a difference, fam? No, nah, it doesn't even make a difference. Yeah, it doesn't nah. make a difference. But let me double back on like if they're a shitty person because yeah, I feel yeah. like people wouldn't understand that. Mm -hmm. Crazy take. Yeah. But I feel like people that you don't understand, because for example, a shitty person to you, mm -hmm. there's obviously like moral things that I wouldn't agree with, yeah. but a shitty person to you, they're usually shitty because you don't understand them. Yeah, and you're like stubborn. You don't want to accept it. Exactly. Like, oh, he's a smart ass. Yeah. They're usually shitty because you don't understand them. Yeah. Crazy take. The people that are the most like on one side or something, mm -hmm. they have the most creative ideas because nobody else is on that side and it's very lonely on the island. Mm. So somebody that's on that island that's very like out of the box of what everybody's thinking about, Yeah, they're going to say something that you never thought of. Crazy take. Like a shitty person though? I'm, I'm not saying necessarily shitty, but I would consider them shitty because most people don't understand them. Okay. Because for example, a douchebag that treats people a certain way because he thinks in that mindset. Mm -hmm. But if he's very creative, maybe he's creative because that's what makes him creative because he's, he's that alone. It makes him that person. Because mm. I know there's a lot of artists that you know, they're not necessarily the greatest people, yeah. but they come out with art because they're very different from the other. They're very different from the usual person. Mm, I can see that. I can see that. You agree or not? Mm. It's a crazy take. Like, I want to see if you agree. I can see it, but at the same time, it's like, I don't think, I don't think it's right though, that, mm. that they stay, that they only have one side. Cause I feel like a real true creative. Cause okay. Say say that individual runs out of ideas and mm -hmm. is not creative anymore who are you gonna look to the other side for ideas i'm not saying that person's the greatest artist yeah but i'm saying i would hire that person because they can see something that i don't see probably i wouldn't hire that person i don't gonna lie you have to be you have to be like open you know what i mean like you might have you might have the sickest artist for that for that niche but mm -hmm. what else that's it no but that's that's the point oh it's, it's like, like you want to fill those niches yeah that's that's the point is like I have that that area yeah, of yeah. the mind that nobody else set. Has. So this area of the brain, like I have set because he mm. thinks in that way. Now I think in my own way, and it's like a puzzle piece, right? Mm. Like the perfect masterpiece. I need this type of thinking for this, this type gotcha. of thinking for that. And it becomes like a beautiful picture because of all these different things. But sometimes it takes a little bit of darkness. Sometimes it takes a, a lot of good, mm. depending on what you're actually trying to make. Yeah. Usually something that has an edge to it yeah. is what we're attracted to, though. Just like if you think about all music, uh -huh. it's very edgy, yeah. though, especially the ones that start a revolution or start, you know, what I mean, start a whole genre in of itself. It's very, it's very raw, edgy. OK, I OK. I, on paper, I think uh, what you said, like if I have different parts of the mind and mm -hmm. we work as a team on paper, it's good because mm -hmm. you have different superstars to fill that position. Yeah, right? exactly. That's but what I'm now, saying. But now it's like. To work as a team, yeah. you're gonna need to communicate and and agree as one thing. So that's no, you don't have to agree. No, no, but you you're, you said part of your team though. Yeah, no good team is gonna work if you have one person that's so so like solid on his role and you I have disagree. a different thinking. No. I I disagree. You know why? 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 If you have a good leader. Yeah, that 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 makes it too. But obviously, if you have stubborn people, the and the leader is not gonna get to them. You know what I mean? I disagree. Go look at any basketball team with a bunch of superstars that are with stubborn superstars. KD, Kyrie, and, and Harden were on one team. That shit didn't work. When it, when it comes to art, I think it's different. When it comes to art? Yeah. Because I think... the I think when it comes to art, it's worse. Because mm -mm. art is so subjective that there's so many routes where you have to take. What if the art is the war? Feel me? Like, what if, what if the argument within it is <clears throat> creates the art? Mm. What, if, what if, like, the struggle of you not agreeing with someone is so important in your creative process that it creates something because y'all were arguing. Mm, I get that too. Right? That's because fire. it's it's shit that it's not regular. I mean, you have to put yourself in in depths of 
ideas that nobody has been in before to create something new. Yeah. So for you to come up with the idea, maybe you have to like sit in dirt, you know what I mean? Like listen to country music mm -hmm. and then shit, watch a basketball game. Like the most random and then eat a lollipop, like random shit. Yeah, yeah. And then lie down on like a unicorn, you know, like, mm -hmm. like weird stuff. And then at that exact moment, you'll be inspired by different things subconsciously and it just all adds up. Yeah. And it doesn't, it's not supposed to make sense because mm -hmm. that's, that's a point of art. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I think the truest art is just nonsense that you make people understand. Mm. Like the, you, the, you make people believe your vision and they, they come up with uh, stories for it themselves? Yeah, it's, it's just nonsense to everyone, but you're the translator. And you make it understandable because you can portray that message to others. Mm. So like your, your, uh, your cutout hoodie, mm -hmm. you, you gave them the platform and then they become the, the author. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So they can, they can understand your nonsense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. So, but it's nonsense if it's just there. Yeah. Like yeah. You, you take a whole bunch of like stuff and put it on a table, but boom, what is this? But you put a story and then you built it into something. It becomes something. Yeah. Remember the, the scribble guy I was talking about? Mm -hmm. How he would um he would go and he, he would just start doodling. Mr. Doodle. Yeah. And he would create uh, stories himself. So they took a house, right? Mm -hmm. They painted it white. All white. And he filled up this room with every scribble, like every doodle imaginable. Yeah. Right? So you walk into a room. It's just black doodles of... Like everything. So imagine you walk into a room and you like you see fish, you see things. Yeah, but yeah. you but every person will see something different because it obviously it's just a doodle. Mm -hmm. And he filled this whole house, like every crevice fam. I feel like a lot of artists are like that, like Basquiat. Basquiat? And like a bunch of bunch of different like abs like look at David Cho, he's like that too. Yeah. No, but going back to David Cho, I think David Cho should even be a mental hospital already. Even without that acting you know why because he's he's a crazy dude no like, but he he went there to help himself and yeah. that's why he's outside i know that's why because because when you're telling that story it's like i don't think it's just because the acting fam the bro is actually crazy like no but like, maybe it's just you don't understand them because mm -hmm. real listen maybe the crazy people mm -hmm. aren't actually crazy it's just everybody else we talked about this before yeah like if everybody else around me is exactly like me, then I'm not crazy no more. If yeah. if you considered me crazy, uh, I don't believe that too. Because uh, like you heard about, have you heard the Shane Groves about Shane Groves? No. How um he like he murdered someone. Uh, he she murdered her boyfriend. Yeah. And then when they were going into her room, she had pictures of Jeffrey Dahmer. She had pictures of like mm -hmm. all the the crimes in the world right yeah yeah yeah. Fam, you would become that person if that's your role model you know what i mean mm -hmm. so if imagine you put uh already like psychotic guy like david cho in a murder uh acting thing if he didn't go to the hospital or mm -hmm. like a mental hospital he would actually become i feel like he would actually become a murderer yeah yeah i agree you know like what I mean? it, it, could, it could like take it to that level yeah but the point i was trying to get at is like let's say let's say your whole let's say the whole population mm -hmm. is like that is all murderer serial killers yeah yeah if you're the one that doesn't want to murder and serial kill, then you're the crazy one. If everybody else is doing it like that. Mm, yeah, yeah. That like, for sense. example, let's say, let's say we're a pack of wolves and we go hunt bunnies. Mm. And it's like, that's how we survive. We eat bunnies, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're just that one wolf is like, yo, can we eat something else? <laughs> yeah. Like, let's, let's eat berries. Yeah, yeah. All the other wolves are going to look at you and be like, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. What is going on? You're crazy. Mm -hmm. But if you take it into a different perspective, of course, humans, we don't have to do certain things to be that way and survive. Yeah. Then, yeah, you seem crazy because the average person is taught to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And then naturally we do these things and we're all like, OK, we agree. Let's not do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. the, the best way to push, a, push an agenda is like to, to obviously get a, a group of people around it because uh, if if that's the regular, then the normal person will be like, oh, let me join into that, right? So do you think, like, one agenda that they're going to push is like, oh, they put all these, uh, this bad shit around, like the, the true crimes, the murder mysteries everywhere, and they just make everyone start to, you feel me, kill themselves, like, like kill others. Do you think that that's a possibility soon? No, I just think we're attracted to that as humans. Attracted? I think we're just naturally attracted to that. Mm. Because like, like I said, the normal. Yeah. Too much of the normal, like we don't, we don't like anymore. Yeah. Like we want to see the obscure things. And that that's what triggers our like emotion. Like whoa, 
like let, let's dive more into it because it's a mystery yeah because as your life if your life is super regular and you don't do anything that's kind of like out of the box mm -hmm. you're going to be attracted to these different mysteries and things because it becomes a mystery for yourself how would you see things see things that makes sense that makes sense. i think that's the only reason like um true crime like murder mysteries that's why it's popular is because it's not because for us to become them it's just to put ourselves in that perspective like yo that's so that's so odd like yeah. why would why would i think like that mm -hmm. and i think it makes people more open-minded to seeing things yeah. whether it be good or bad but it's like it's it, it's 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 a good test it's a good test of yourself to see how my mind could play out in that way you know it's like yeah. I know how Carlos reacts in watching SpongeBob. How would Carlos react watching this or yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And then you find out. That's true. And it goes back to the role model things because like you said, like uh, all your dad's movies before is like the the muscular guys, shit like that. Mm -hmm. our, our generation grew up on like young thug wearing a dress, you mm -hmm. know, all the, probably all the, they, they're trying to break that, that men, that, that, toxic masculinity border so that's what yeah. all you see now is like oh we're trying our best to step out and do different so you know i just think there's a problem personally i know there's like this kind of a controversial take yeah but because yeah, we're right. used to certain things that were built that way yeah yeah it's going to become a problem later when people don't want to do the jobs that were built in that way you know mm. like it will get harder when the people that do the hard work there's no more people to do the hard work. Um, yeah. You get me? But at the same time, I think that's good because it's like... But then how is society going to run? Who's going to build your bridges and shit? Like, if everybody wants to be a YouTuber, yeah. who's going to fix your car? <clears throat> who's going to... Who's going to... You know what I mean? Like, who's going to move concrete, put up, <laughs> put up fucking skyscrapers? Uh -huh. Who the fuck's going to do that if we're all YouTubers? But <laughs> no, I think that's where it's moving right now because everyone doesn't want to do hard work no more. But I feel like that's good because as soon as everyone uh, moves away from it, that job is going to become uh, more of a rarity and you're going to get paid more for that job. So obviously they're going to increase that pay. Everyone's fuck this YouTube shit. Let me move some more bricks. So I feel like it's going to balance itself out. You know what I mean? It would balance itself out, but it's going to come into like a dangerous territory yeah. of the, the like learning stages. Yeah, yeah. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure, I can see it like headed towards there. Yeah, we're definitely in a in a weird like era. You know how it's like uh, that the other era, or, like our dad's era, was like a more of a, a hamster. Like, let me give it this, let me give it technology, see what it does for it, mm -hmm. and then boom, now we're moving into that. I think we're still that though. We're still that. I think I think, I think so. we're always in testing stages. Testing stages. You don't think we're all hamsters, fam? Like we're all like still testing. I think we're past. I think we're past like the the testing stages. Now it's just I like I disagree. Now it's just like we're what will it do to us now? Nah, fam. If like the per personally like how I see it, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even know what they want to do with themselves. They don't even understand who they are yet. Yeah. So let alone testing other things with like technology, they have to test themselves to see what they like. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know who their true self is like they haven't haven't been through struggles to realize it or they haven't like dove deep enough to see like who they want to become mm -hmm. so before they can even battle the other experiments they have to battle that experiment no that's facts that's facts you gotta know yourself first yeah there's a lot of different things that i think play a part in 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 finding like where the future is gonna be mm -hmm. because honestly if, you're, if if we're thinking like that far ahead they're gonna become there's going to be robots that just build everything for us. Yeah, yeah. And take in, uh, you know, Gong, the, the guy who's running. Yeah. He did all that that campaign and all he spent all this money on the posters just to get less votes than Chris Guy. Mm. <laughs> you know, you, do you know that? Yeah. It was fucked. But, um, you know, you know, Gong, yeah. he was actually a criminal. <laughs> yeah, you know that? I know. He did. I swear he did all this for money laundering. Yeah, something like that. Because I know he came from like New Zealand and yeah. he had to pay like a $60 million fine. Mm -hmm, yeah just so that he can like move out or something like that like he had to pay a fine because he was money laundering exactly and it didn't matter like um how much people love chris guy or anybody else like it was meant to be olivia chow because like not to get political or anything but they're they're gonna choose the person who fits the agenda more and remember you're talking about um uh justin trudeau kind of looks like some other guy um uh fidel castro and he was a communist yeah exactly so do you think we're gonna get into that? We're get, like Toronto's gonna start becoming a communist, 
a communist uh, country. City. Yeah, country. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Olivia Chow fits that. I th- I think it's like coming closer and closer. I don't know yeah. if it's gonna be exactly that. Hopefully like it's hard, it doesn't though. It's hard to predict that. That's yeah. that's kind of crazy. Yeah. But just the way it's looking, it's like they're hinting at like yeah, maybe yeah. this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. But that's where it gets scary because that's that's when it like forms into motion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's always like a cycle because if you think about it, the world does go back around, mm-hmm. and they say I'm pretty sure every every hundred something years an empire falls. Mm. Like it, it, there's an expiration date for every empire, yeah. And the United States is is headed towards their ex, expiry date. Yeah. Canada hasn't been that long, but technically Canada is still part of that empire because they work so close to the United States. Okay. Still all North America. In my opinion, North America is all one empire. Yeah. If you really think about it, because the trading and all that stuff, yeah. y'all want to get into economics, but if you think about it, all of this shit, bro, is it really gonna matter? Like, let's say, let's say, what do you mean? Is it gonna matter? No, like, let's say, let's say. Um, fuck, our country becomes communist. Like, yeah, we're going to be like, ah, oh, shit, fuck. Now what do we do? Mm-hmm. What were you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. You get me? Like, like if you didn't do it, if you don't care now, like, when are you going to care? And like, what are you, you going to do about it? Feel me? Yeah, yeah. The only thing is like, what can we do is vote for the one we do. But a lot of people like complain. And then the same people that are complaining, they didn't don't even vote, vote yeah. to the person that they wanted. Exactly. So you have to do something about it. Like yeah. if you really care that much, right? Exactly, bro. But that's why we see more um more protests and stuff like that. But that's good because at least people are like doing their thing, yeah, like yeah. going out and speaking their voice, which is which is really good. But what's scary, mm-hmm. Canada, I don't know if you knew. Yeah. Facebook, so Facebook and Instagram, they're not allowed to post any news content in Canada. I just learned Fucked that. Up. I just learned that, yeah, yeah. Because of like a new bill. And who was talking about this bill way before any of this shit happened? Your one and only, <laughs> Carlos, fam. Hey, I was man. telling everybody. I was telling everybody. Yeah. And then I put I'll post on my story. Man, this group chat like, yo, it's it's not really gonna affect us. It's really only gonna affect you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We all use the internet, stupid. <laughs> if we're all using the internet uh-huh. and the bill is gonna affect the internet, mm-hmm. who's it gonna affect? Every single person in Canada that's using the internet, bro. Hundred, and they took they took a uh, Facebook and thing down, and I, obviously since uh, TikTok isn't part of that meta stuff, mm-hmm. they tried to take down TikTok separately. So that's why it's like this shit was never for data, bro. It was it was for censoring. Like you can tell, like it's called censorship bill. Yeah, censorship bill. Like uh, when uh, when that all the the protests were going along and the court stuff with the, with the TikTok CEO, all the the TikTok accounts that were kind of posting like these news like like giving people news about stuff their views were getting lower and lower you know what i mean mm. so it's like it's it's easy to see what they're doing but why why do you think that is because the the news they're trying to censor everything censor what parts though like like they're trying to give um uh make sure information doesn't spread around like uh say a case happened like a murder case happened yeah but that wasn't like shed light on we would take that and we would give it to the people mm-hmm. well, they would shut that down obviously because they don't want to they don't want to put that up, you know? Mm. But who, what do you think, like, decides that? Mm. Like, do you think, like, there's a bunch of people like, oh, shit. Uh, I, I don't yeah. know if I like this. Like, uh, maybe this one. Oh, this one's okay. Like, you think it's like that? Like, somebody sits in a chair and then picks and chooses? Probably. They probably have a team of hundreds. Or do you think it's, like, a whole bunch of, like, a, a list? like? Or maybe what they do is, like, they have, like, um words, filtered words that if you say something like that, they'll take it down or censor it already. Mm. Like, you know what? Like, government. Like, if we say government on TikTok, that shit is not going up because they don't want no bad stuff being said about them. You yeah, that's I mean? true. Yeah, damn. That is true. Yeah. So they probably have filters. I think that's the the scariest thing in the world is just freedom of speech. Like, if, yeah. if they take away that, mm. that's it for everything. That's it for creativity. Exactly. That's it for shit, freedom and everything. Yeah. Because freedom of speech means freedom of what you eat, how you live, what you choose. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have that, you don't have nothing. Nothing, yeah. And like, say, say we said more controversial shit. Like we still say controversial shit, but we stay away from the ones that we already know that would get a shadow ban from YouTube. You know, yeah, what? there's so, a lot. There's so a lot of there, stuff I held my tongue exactly, on. Exactly. So there's not really free speech. Even on YouTube, you'll get shadow ban just for saying. And and we have to blur that out. You, Michaela, yeah, yeah, make you sure have to, to blur, blur that out. out. Blur that out right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, All right. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to just end it there? Yeah, we'll end it there. We'll end it there.
Okay. Well, end it there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumper Zone Podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And go check out my other channel. A lot of new creative content coming soon. Link in the description below. Yes, sir. Make sure to go on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you download the episodes and rate the show a five star. We love you guys. And yeah, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.